my husband calls me and he was like, yo, babe. And I was like, yo, what's up, baby? Um, he's like, you won't believe this. I was like, what? He was like, I can Hello, beautiful people. Thanks for jumping back onto my channel. Before I get into this video, I wanted to tell you guys a little story about me, my childhood, my school experience, etc. So the reason why I'm so excited to share this video with you guys is because when I think of my life and I think about, you know, what I can show my sh my children, um, my family as it grows, even just to reminisce with friends and other family members, um, more specifically like my brother and my sister, this school was my very first school I have ever went to. And so I remember I didn't even stay for the first, the full, like, school whatever i would i went for kindergarten and i left in fifth grade after fifth grade i was in a different school so sixth grade i went to a different school um and a lot of things happened to me in this school um and for some reason i always had this really very odd desire and i my mom can tell you where i always wanted to go back and see the school and walk through the hallways as an adult or as like a young adult, not even as old as I am, but just, I always wanted to go back and walk through the hallways. Granted that I never graduated from the school. I only attended it for a few years. Um, I remember when the school actually shut down, it was originally named St. Angela's and then they switched it to, I think John Pope Academy. They were like buying out a whole bunch of the Christ, the Catholic schools that were shutting down due to, you know, funding. And after it was called John Pope or John Paul, I can't remember, it was known, I think that was the last, the last school it was. And so when it shut down, I always knew, I always knew when it shut down because I actually worked down the street from the school. And so I remember seeing the sign go up and I was like, mom, you know, I saw my mom one day. I was like, mom, you know, St. Angela's is shut down. They're selling the building. There's this big sign outside of it. Um, I wish I could walk through the school one more time. I wish I could walk through the school one more time. My mom would always be like, yeah, I know. Wouldn't that be great, like, to walk through and see it and see how it changed and see if you remember different things about the school, whatever, whatever. Um, and I would share this with my husband. And... I'm sharing this story because I want you guys to know that God loves you so much and even the smallest things that seem so insignificant, if it matters to you, it matters to him. So I remember I was telling my husband and I was like, babe, you know that school that we drive past when you pick me up from work, St. Angeles, that's actually my first elementary school. He knew this. So I'm like, you know, I always, and he, he's heard me say this him before, but I remember this day I was like, babe, you know, they got this sign out there. I wish I could walk through it. Um, but they would never let me walk through it because I'm not a buyer. I'm not buying this property. Because um, I'm sure you would have to show, you know, the right paperwork and the right things in order to have access to this building because they're not just going to show it to anybody, right? Um, and I remember one time I saw construction workers outside of it and I told them, I was like, I'm thinking about asking the construction workers if they could guide me through so I could see the, church, um, see the school before they change it up. Um, and different things like that. It still hadn't sold. I guess it was more like people that were clearing out the building and things like that, but the building hadn't sold yet, um, I believe. And then one day I was like, you know, you think your mentor could call somebody and find out if he knows like who's putting it on the market or if he just knows anybody because he's really big in real estate. And I remember one day, where was I? I think I was at my mom's house. But my, my husband calls me and he was like, yo, babe. And I was like, yo, what's up, baby? Um, he's like, you won't believe this. I was like, what? He was like, I could get you into the school. And I instantly, my, my eyes started to weld up with tears. And I was like, stop it, stop playing with me. He was like, no, I'm not kidding. And so I'm like, how, like, how, how is this possible? Like, what do you mean? Like, tell me, like, tell me what's going on. And he said to me, he was like, you know, one of the guys in the office, he's at his mentor's office, Norfolk Capital. If you guys aren't familiar, I've, I've shared this with you guys plenty of times. They're amazing over there. Um, so he's at Norfolk Capital. He's sitting with some of the guys there that are also like learning from his mentor and just like trying to land deals, different things like that. And he's like, you know, one of the guys here, he literally, I guess Emmanuel brought it up and he was like, oh, that's cool. My cousin and her husband just just signed on it. I said, wait, what? And 
when I tell you, I was in tears. I was like, tell him, I said, thank you. And I mean, this, this young man is absolutely amazing. Incredible, incredible, incredible young man. Um, and I'm just like, tell him, like, you know, I'm very interested in seeing this building, but at the end of the day, I'm so okay with not seeing it because I, I do understand, like, you know, some people just don't have time. Some people don't see the care or the need for this, you know, and this is just something that would just make Angel happy, right? And so his, um, his, his, his friend, he calls up his cousin. He's, I guess he spoke to her and they share the contact. So now I have her, I reach out to her, you know, I tell her he had already talked to her. So she was like, yeah, of course you could walk through it. Um, and unknown to me that I have actually, I ended up meeting her not because of the school, but because of mutual friends later down in the line. And I'm just like, what? So anyway, so I link up with this this young woman and you know it's just our schedules aren't linking our schedules aren't linking and I'm just like you know what it's okay like in my heart like in my heart and in my head I'm just like if it doesn't happen it's okay the fact that I know that the school was purchased by this beautiful black couple makes me over the top like full of joy um she she had some things going on in her life like I said I get it it's like busy it's like busy ever since Y'all know what happened. Everyone, everyone's everywhere doing something, right? For the most part, you know? And so I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I, I didn't wanna harass her. I didn't wanna be on her back about it because it's just something that would bring me joy. Um, so I kinda let it alone. She was, um, she had twins and I could only imagine how much work that was. But we were always like, you know, whenever we see each other, it was always great. You know, she would always be like, girl, I, I want to get you in that school. Don't worry, it's going to happen. I'm like, girl, no worries. Just whenever you and your husband are ready, just, just hit me up. I have the ability to plan my days, do what I have to do. So I was like, no problem. So fast forward, I see her. I'm like, oh, girl, the weather's getting warm. This was like March or... Yeah, it was like March. So it's not really warm. If you're from New England, especially Massachusetts, you know... If you're able to wear a hoodie outside for like even two minutes, it's considered warm weather. Emphasis on two minutes. And so one day, I'm like in town and I'm like, hey girl, I'm in town. Like, are you available? She was like, yes, I'm available. And so we had set up a time and we were like, we had it pending just in case things shifted around. She was still able to see me. So we linked up and I was able to walk through my elementary school and see how the building has changed and see the parts of the building that stayed the same. And I was just, I was just like, what? Because things that seemed so grand and so big to me when I was smaller were really, was really small when I got there. So like, I've always been, I always had access to like the playground. And so the playground to me when I was younger was so huge, it was so enormous. Like I remember playing football with the boys. I hung out with a lot of boys when I was growing up. Um, one of my close friends, he's like a brother to me, like, oh, I love him so much. Wilkins, him, me, and some other guys would play out there for after school, recess, whatever, whatever. Um, and just to see it, like even Oktoberfest, it was just like, just to see that space being as big as it is, I'm just like, wow, like, I thought this was huge, you know? So walking through the building, I had an amazing experience seeing different things. And so when I share this video, I'm not just sharing it for me because it's something that brought me joy and something I desired, but I also wanted to keep this part of history, uh, especially for those who went to St. Angela's there in Mattapan Square, because I don't know, I felt like everybody and their mama pretty much knows the church. And most of you guys, if you are from Mattapan or from Boston, Massachusetts side, and you're familiar with that area, Mattapan is like, it's like one of the spots you know about. Um, so just being able to share this with my community, my access community, um, it brings me joy. And to know that what's going to be done to this building is going to be something so incredible for this community, especially um, as it develops. And so without further ado, Enjoy this walkthrough of this beautiful school that is in its in its transformative stage. Um, thank you again to the beautiful couple that allowed me to walk through this building. 
um, you don't understand how much of an answer prayer it is. And not only how, not only that, but like how God used you to show me his love through you guys, um, to walk through this space. And so thank you guys so much. I'm actually going to talk with them in another video. Um, we're just waiting for certain things to line up, but when you guys meet them, you're going to be like, what these two people right here are incredible. And so anyways, enjoy. I love you guys and like, comment, subscribe. Sorry for the long windedness, but I thought it would be amazing if you heard this story. Um, again, this is beautiful. And so, yeah. Enjoy. I did. Oh my god. I did. Me and all my cousins. This is new, right? So I remember this. The cafeteria. Where are we? Where are we? Where? Are we? where, are we? where Where's the, I think we're in the basement right now. Yes, this is the basement. The girls' room used to be on this side. Yeah, so the girls' room is there, the men's room is there, so it's broken down now. That's fine, but this was open before. Remember when they used to have like tables? I don't know, what year did you, what year did you come here? I left here, I left here um, fourth grade. I'm, sorry, I'm 34, so I have no idea. How it looks since when you were like real small. <laughs> That's crazy, because I remember this, this used to be where we lined up to go outside sometimes, but all of this was open because you would be able to stand here and see the boys' bathroom. Okay, so, all right. Because I remember these doors and the boys' bathroom's right here. Yes. But instead, this is new. All this oh, wall, this okay. came after me. Okay, so yeah, this is the men's bathroom right here. Yep, but now it's just emptiness. Crazy. They took this down. These are nice doors. Yeah, so there's a lot of things that we're gonna resurface. Good. Um, when you get, like, the higher we get, the better it looks. Oh, I believe it, because after St. Angela's, it turned into, um, what is it, Pope John? Pope John, John something, all the something. schools, that's happening to them. Oh, and they're all shutting down. I never knew this was a thing. Yes, oh, you guys had water, huh? Boiler room. So we have to, like, redo the whole system. Are you guys gonna donate, like, the chairs and desks, maybe, yeah, to, like, schools? Newer, newer plastic chairs. Exactly. Wow. There's a lot of different things here. Wow. Um, so this is what I know to be the cafeteria. I remember this to be, I think it was, I remember they used to have bleachers over there and then Mr. McCullough would play the piano on this side. A girl, I don't know. It's just like one of those things where like, I don't know why I remember it. I don't know why I'm so eager to be here either. Like, I was, tell I was talking to my pastor and she was like, I remember years ago you would say this to me. I love these doors. These doors are so cute. so cute. I remember the sink used to be right over here. And then there were stalls this way, stalls this way. You can see where the toilets were. Wow, I feel so big. I used to think this room was huge. Right, right, look at us now. So small. Yeah. Or was no, yeah. I just remember the piano being there and Mr. McCullough would have the chairs and then the lunch, at least for when I was here, was on the opposite side. Crazy. This was the front. The doors used to be red doors. So do you remember when the doors were red? No. Oh my gosh. I really do remember a lot of this stuff. Yeah, you have great memories. <laughs> so this floor, I think, is fully Got it. demoed for the most part now. You know how many people are going to be like, first of all, it's so dope to know that two people, your husband went to San Angeles too? No. But you did? Yes, yes. Sister Gail's office. I'm going to talk to my mom, all right. So, <laughs> careful. Oh, the floor is very... Up yeah, and so down. with water, a lot of them um, came up. So we have to refinish a lot of the floor. Wow. Yep, this was Sister Gail's office. I remember that. <laughs> Your mom was probably so happy. The eighth grade classroom, I never got to go here. To go. Unless I was, um... Oh, okay. Unless it was um, after school.
It's a seventh grade classroom. Yup, eighth, seventh, and then kindergarten was on this side. I remember that. Girl, Sister Marine, Miss Wooten. I don't know if I you know had Ms. them. Wooten. I know Miss Wooten. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Wooten had the same birthday as me. That's why oh, I always really? remembered her. Yeah. And I have someone on Facebook. Oh, oh, Miss Shannon? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's on Facebook. Really? Yes. Wow. First yes. of all, she's still alive? Yes. Wow, that's crazy. I remember um, Miss Savoy. She was an old school one. Wow, this was kindergarten too. I remember after school, we'd come in here, we'd watch a movie on this side. They would have tables like this and we'd eat our snack and then go That's outside. Cute. I remember, it's so crazy because I remember, I remember, I remember <laughs> things. Like, I wish there was pictures. You see the floor, we're gonna keep them. Cause, Cause they're, they're good. good. They're good, yeah. Oh my gosh. And then this was Miss Murphy's office. Did you have Miss Murphy when you were here? I don't think so. Oh my gosh. I remember I pretended I was sick. <laughs> just so I could come in here and I remember she had like a little mattress that laid on the ground and she would give you frozen um, sponges That's nice <laughs> If your head hurt She knew I just didn't want to be in class She knew She knew Like this, see like, okay this door My doorway for the house that we bought mm -hmm. is probably a little bit bigger than this But these doors are so beautiful, I love they're a big beautiful. door I hope y'all keep some of these doors, yeah, especially definitely. if they're good. Whatever we can keep, we'll just refinish. That's what Chris is all about. Good. Even the break is like, should I paint it? I was like, maybe you should just clean it. Yeah, just power wash it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yep. Restain the like banisters. Yes. Crazy. Gosh, this is incredible. It is. Okay, so let me see. I remember second grade was here. That's wild. These classrooms are so much bigger than I thought. Yes. That's a nice bookcase. Yeah, and these um, yeah, girl, this is nice. This is nice. My first kiss was right here. Really? Yup. <laughs> I remember it, and it was. I remember the next day the guy was like, yeah, we go out. And I'm like, no, because my be my other friend liked him too. So she told me, she was like, let's have a competition. Whoever, whoever could give him a kiss, can't flash him. Whoever could give him a kiss, gets him. And I was like, I'm not trying to do all of that. Right? And then it ended up, he wanted me. And I was like, no, nah, I care about my friendship. Right? You want your friend? You know? That was third grade. I remember that. Oh my gosh, Ashley, this is crazy. First grade was here. What was this? Was this third grade? Second grade was down there. Maybe fourth grade was here. Wow. I remember that was first grade. This, what was, I don't know what this was. This is where the elevator is going to come up to. Yes, yes. Wow. You guys have some good boards. I hope those boards still work because then you guys can send it. They don't work? They do work. Oh, yeah. They just um, detach them. Yeah. I'm like, that's a nice curtain. <laughs> I'm looking at that little lace curtain. I'm like, that's a cute curtain. Wow. I can't believe I'm walking through this building. It's crazy. I can't believe a student got the building. Yep. We had to find the phone out. They finally gave it to us because they wanted to get to walls. But oh, really? I guess they just didn't have it in their budget. Yeah. God knew. Yeah. God knew. This was fifth grade classroom. This was the last classroom I was in. Like these built-ins are so nice, but yeah. I know it's like times the space, but. Yeah. Because I'm not going to take them all out. All of them. When my mom came, she found some textbooks, everything. Wow. These are so nice. But like you said, you wanted to look luxury. Yep. That's so dope. Fifth grade classroom. Dude, the pencil Dude. <laughs> even though you all wore the same uniform, you would try to get up so everyone could see your stockings or your fit. This was sixth grade. Wow. This is wild. That's a good size table. Wow, there are some really nice things here. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, not even gonna go. Yep. We're gonna leave, yep. bye! bye. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Yup, you yep. put your backpack. We didn't have, I don't remember fountains though. I don't remember that either. That must have been 
I don't remember lockers either. Mm -mm. Lockers were definitely Probably not our after. time. Yeah. We just put everything in my 